just got off the plane in Cusco and we're already feeling the effects of the high altitude. I can feel it in my heart right now. We're gonna take a breather, sit down here for a second. Oh, and they did have some uh, cocoa, cocoa leaves, leaves that we're gonna chew on for a second. Chew on it. Okay. <laughs> Cusco is a fascinating city draped in archaeological remains and Spanish colonial architecture. An important information to know about Cusco is that it sits at an elevation of 11,000 feet above sea level. The Empire State Building, one of the highest buildings in New York City, is 1,250 feet tall. You would have to stack 9 Empire State Buildings to reach Cusco's elevation. Or think about it this way, you know when your plane takes off? When you hear this sound and you're again allowed to use your electronic devices and move around the cabin, that is how high up from sea level you are when walking around the streets of Cusco. So we just got to our hotel and it's actually not as bad as we thought it would be, but we do feel a little tired and carrying around our backpack it requires a lot more effort than usual. So we're just gonna sit here for a second. Because of Cusco's high altitude, during your first few hours here, you'll probably experience shortness of breath, a discomfort in the body, dizziness, headaches, stomach aches, even vomiting. Here are things you can do to counteract high altitude sickness. Our hotel offered us some tea when we checked in. Uh, this is coca tea. So we're gonna go and enjoy that right now. Are you okay? Stop. <laughs> He's actually fine. He's playing around. <laughs> This is actually pretty good. But be warned that if you have a drug test coming up, oh yeah, that you will test positive for cocaine because this tea contains the same tree leaf. <laughs> what David is trying to say is that the leaves of the coca plant used to make coca tea are the same leaves used to manufacture cocaine. That's why drinking the tea will make you test positive for cocaine metabolites. A little more. I think somebody's addicted. <laughs> we were advised to eat smaller meals because the sudden change in the elevation, your stomach takes a lot longer to digest food. And they also suggest a diet that's like low in protein but high in carbohydrates. So this is our very light lunch right now. You also need to stay very well hydrated. Being up here makes you feel like you have a hangover, so definitely drink lots of water and avoid salty foods. We're definitely not planning on doing anything crazy today, so we're just gonna rest up and let our bodies get used to this new surrounding. And actually we can use this time to read up on all the information that we've gathered so far about Cusco and going to Machu Picchu, so it'll be a time well spent. David and I are totally struggling in this high altitude, but luckily our hotel has a complimentary coca tea station and we've been making multiple trips to it. So, cheers! It's now bedtime and I still have a slight headache. Hopefully some sleep will help, so we'll see how I feel tomorrow. I woke up this morning feeling so much better. Sleep definitely helped. But I did wake up with a slight headache. So we went downstairs and got some more coca tea. And coca leaves and Tylenol. <laughs> it's all drugged up. And ready to go. So if you guys ever find yourselves visiting Cusco, do what we did and you should be okay. High altitude sickness is no joke, but you can't let that ruin your day. Uh, thanks so much for watching this vlog. And, and watch our other ones. <laughs> See you later. Check out our other videos for fun things to do in Cusco. Kanam Pacha! Kanam Pacha! Kai Pacha! Kai Pacha! Uku Pacha! Uku Pacha! Kao Saipa! Kao Saipa! Kao Saipa meat juice. For tonight's dinner, we are trying a Cusco delicacy, Kui. Here it is! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up! And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get updates about our new videos.